I killed Minecraft's final boss with just one arrow, using a simple mechanic that correlates directly to the speed of arrows. The faster the arrow goes, the more damage it'll do. So if I could make a machine that could make arrows travel insanely fast, I would be able to one-shot anything in the game. But to do this, I would need an absurd amount of materials. But as you could see, I got none. So I immediately got to work. I started off by getting all the materials for the concrete and glass. Then I spent way too much time picking flowers and killing squids for dyes. Oh yeah, I also made all the concrete. Next, I gathered loads of redstone and just speed ran the rest of the items. Just like that, I had all the materials needed except a few tricky ones. First order of business was getting the slime. So I gathered some materials and started searching for a swamp to make the slime farm. Wait, do you hear that? What are you doing in my swamp? Okay, now I gotta clear up some space. Then I gotta make a hole and build the collection system and death chamber. Now I just gotta build the spawning platform and roof and I'll be done. Just like that, the slime farm was done. I AFK'd for about an hour and got a full double chest of slime balls. Now that slime was off the list, we could move on to getting the coral. The only problem is there are no coral reefs near me, so... Okay, we're about 5,000 blocks out and we finally found one. Now I just need to get the coral. And if I do this, I should be able to get the dead coral. Wait, that didn't work. Oh, I need a silk touch pick. Well, only one thing to do now. I got that quicker than expected. Anyways, now that the coral fans are dealt with, we can move on to the sea lanterns. If anyone was wondering, yes, I was trying to avoid these. But here's the master plan. I'm going to avoid the monument and kill all the guardians swimming on the outskirts to get the materials to craft the sea lanterns. It's been 10 minutes, and I only have enough materials to craft 3 lanterns. I think it's time to move on to plan B. The plan is to get an invisibility potion and mine the sea lanterns without getting noticed. As you could tell, that plan also failed, so it's time to throw all plans out the window and just run in there and destroy those pesky elder guardians. <laughs> Now that all the preparation was out of the way, we could finally start building. If anyone was wondering, the design used was made by Fallen Breath. First of all, we need some headless pistons. To do that, we put pistons down, then we put blocks in front of it, and then crystal. We power the pistons, and boom, we got the headless piston. Now, as long as we keep supplying them power, they'll remain like that. First, I need to make the base of the machine and the firing chamber.
next i gotta make six massive tnt dupers that will dupe 240 tnt per shot or as mumbo would say actually really quite simple Okay, and there's one done. Time to do that another five times. like that it's done now it's time to test it out okay so i shoot an arrow and the system should automatically align it then i just press this fire button and hope it doesn't blow itself to kingdom come please don't blow up please don't blow up please don't blow up it didn't blow up let's go i really thought that wasn't going to work now we just need some gas here to make end crystals so let's make a gas farm real quick Bam, the farm is done. Now it was a time that everybody had been waiting for, the main event. And we did that 17 more times. Just like that, I had one shot the Ender Dragon in Minecraft Hardcore. If you enjoyed, consider dropping a like and subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.